Hey there, happy day 1040 of What You Have To Know. Sharon horn from here, documenting my journey as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world. A couple of years here now under my belt and sharing what's worked, what hasn't worked, what's I've learned a lot from, what has been painful, and then mostly what I'm doing now, what am I working on now? Because it's kind of been the culmination of the last three years. 2017, I came online and what I've been doing and building on my 47 years of business experience 25 plus of that in corporate America in various capacities. So primarily in quality and sanitation executive leadership for all different kinds of, of businesses and corporations in different industries. So I bring all that together and wanted to do something online and fallen into so many of the traps that other people do online as well. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. We're not going to talk about the mistakes I've made or the traps that I've fallen in. We're going to talk about what am I doing right now. As 2020 is coming to an end, for the month of December, I'm doing a final fifth, the fifth final three 30 plus day get up and go challenge. We started, we're on day three today, and we talked about wants and if, infinite possibilities. If anything was possible, what would you want? And so often, we're not limited so much by the world and by other people as we are by ourselves and what we will or will not allow ourselves to even consider as possible for us. We put ourselves in these little boxes. Other people put us in boxes too, don't get me wrong. Other people's expectations do have an impact on us, but it's up to us to choose and decide whether we're going to let them impact us or not. So people will tell us what we should and shouldn't do, what we have to do, what we must do. They'll boss us around and, and put limitations on us. Think COVID-19. How many, how many of our freedoms and beliefs about ourselves have had to change in 2020 due to these crazy things that are going on in our environment. A lot, almost everyone on the planet has been impacted in some way, shape or form by this COVID-19 pandemic and virus. You know, even I have been, and I, prior to COVID-19, was pretty much separated and not impacted by stuff that went on in the environment, stuff that went on outside of me, stuff that went on in the world. I interacted with it, but it didn't control my choices and my and what I was or was not gonna do yet. Now. Everybody is being controlled in terms of what we can and cannot do, where we can and cannot go, who we can and cannot see, if we can go to church, if we can go to concerts, if we can go to restaurants, if we can go to stores, we can go to certain stores, but not other stores, because you know, the big box stores are definitely more clean and sanitary than the mom and pop shops. It's ridiculous lack of, of uh, clear thinking and reasoning. I think logic and reasonability has sort of flown out the window in 2020. Instead of people just saying, Hey, we don't freaking know, but let's figure this out together. It's been this, I'm the expert. Let me tell you what to do, think, be, and have, and, and I will tell you what you need to believe. And it's, it's just, it's not only sickening, it's exhausting. So I choose not to participate in 99% of it. Uh, sometimes we're brought into things and we need to participate, but for the most part, anything, I go to the source and I investigate it and I study it and I look at it myself. I'm not going to just go off what other people say. And do I get sucked into it? Absolutely, we all do. We all get sucked into drama. We get sucked into trauma. We get sucked into things that we wish we wouldn't. But the sooner we can say, stop, hold the phone, stop the insanity. I am going to back off and just not participate in this. The better we feel, the more in control we feel, and the more in control of our own lives and, and experiences we actually are. So today, what do we talk about in Get Up and Go? We talked about the infinite possibilities and that we end up thinking about the things we don't want and and how do we do that how do we turn that around well we just flip it around the easiest fastest way to figure out what you do want how many people do you ask hey what do you want what do you want for christmas where do you want to go to eat everybody says i don't know i don't care it doesn't matter to me um we negate and we we minimize the things that we really want because we don't let ourselves ask ourselves well, what do i really want what do i really really want to eat for dinner where do i really really want to go? What do I really, really want to do? What do I really want to create in my life? What experiences do I, I really want to have? Not the ones that I think I'm stuck with, but the things that I really want to have and do. And who do I want to be? Who do I want to show up as in the world? We could go deep on that, but, but I will not. And I'll just say the fastest, easiest way to think about and figure out what you really do want is just start listing off the things that you don't want. And sometimes what you do want is the exact opposite of what you don't want. And then all of a sudden, if you're focusing on that wants list instead of the don't wants list, guess what happens? Those wants start to show up and, and appear in your life 
you know, sometimes it's miraculously faster and easier than you ever thought possible because you're not giving all the negative energy to the things that you don't want and creating them by default. You're focusing on the things that you do want. So today our challenge was to think of three things. If, if anything were possible, and I'm talking anything were possible, what are three things that you would want? Uh, and then tomorrow we will go into the seven main areas of our life and a couple of other things. I didn't, I didn't precursor for people. I didn't uh, preframe for folks. We'll just do it every day. I'm trying to make it a, a small bite-sized piece. I want to keep them 10 minutes or less every day so that people don't feel like the, the challenge is a, is a burden or hard. I don't know. I've participated in a lot of challenges, lots and lots and lots. And some of them will go three hours in a day. And then in addition to that three hours of content, you're supposed to do three to, to six hours worth of work. Now, I, I can do that if I'm devoted to a challenge because I make my own schedule. But the vast majority of the people on the planet do not have an hour a day to devote to a challenge, much less three, six, or more hours to devote to a challenge, no matter how badly they want the particular result. And then with the whole disappearing content thing, which is one of my pet peeves, is, well, you do it and you do it with us right now this day or you lose it forever. Unless, of course, you buy our huge coaching program or our, our $1,000 course, group course, whatever. Uh, and that works for people, right? It's a marketing thing. But Get Up and Go Challenge isn't a marketing thing. It's a how can we transform and help people right now kind of thing. Do I do other things that I sell to people? Absolutely, but this is not one of those things. This is truly in response to COVID-19 and, and doing what we can do. I say we do what we can do with what we've got right now to make the world a better place. If we all did that, think of how awesome the world would be, right? If people weren't thinking that there was this pie, this finite pie, and they had to get their piece of it, we wouldn't be fighting and clawing and competing against one another. There wouldn't be fraud and lying and cheating and dishonesty because you wouldn't need to be that way, right? At least that's my rose-colored glasses way of, of thinking about the world and the way I would like to see things be. So what do you want? That was our get up and go challenge today. Uh, fun challenge today was about unfortunate events. And it was really kind of funny because the filter that I chose to do the video through blew my head up. And so there were like little red eyes like on my nose and then there were little red cheeks down on my, my jaw walls. And so it was kind of funny. It was like, all right, that's my unfortunate event today. How am I going to make that into a journey, the beginning of a journey? Well, of course, I just did the video. So instead of stopping and starting over and redoing it, I just went with it and got it done. And I think that's what we need to do with a lot of things. Stuff happens. Our best laid plans and 2020 has shown all of us that no matter how much we plan, no matter what our goals were to begin with, things can still happen that don't just blow our plans out of the water, but blow millions and millions of people's plans out of the water simultaneously. And how do we respond to that? Some people have thrown in the towel and given up and just are barely surviving. Other people have, you know, quit and they've, they've actually committed suicide, which is so heartbreaking because all of what we're going through is temporary. Uh, other people have, have found within themselves the wherewithal to figure out solutions that they never knew they would have to figure out and they're thriving and moving forward. Um, it's, it's always up to us to figure out how we're going to respond to certain things and we'll all respond in a spectrum, right? We'll, if you know anything about statistics, there's always this bell curve of how people will respond and react to things. Uh, I love statistics. I think they're fascinating and they show us where things have gone awry, where things are off course, where they're, where they just aren't right and where we need to investigate and figure out, okay, well, what happened right here? We need to look into what happened right here because this is different than all of the other results that we've had in the past. All of a sudden, maybe, Maybe you have a huge life event. You get married or you have a child or something and that massively changes your income. For example, maybe you graph your income and it's been steadily going up throughout your life and then all of a sudden it has a dip or it has a really high spike. But we want to know well, what, what caused my income to go up significantly. I want to do more of that or what caused it to decrease significantly. I want to make sure I don't do that again and that I learn the lessons so that I don't have those, those troughs and spikes going on in my life in any area or aspect of our life. So all dressed up and nowhere to go was our super size your business for today. And it's so perfect with COVID-19 because so many of us were all dressed up and ready to, to just knock our own socks off in 2020 and boom, we had to make pivots and changes and, and rise to so many different challenges that we didn't 
in many cases, even think were a possibility, much less have a plan in place for them. I always was big on contingency plans, but uh, I don't know of anybody's contingency plans that actually included pandemic. What if a pandemic hits and your business is shut down? You know, I don't know very many people. They had emergency action plans in case of, we always had those in corporate America and in my small businesses for the USDA, as well as, uh, you know, if there was a flood or a tornado, what was, what was likely or could possibly happen in your area, you had a contingency plan for that. If you were in an area where tornadoes hit, you had a tornado contingency plan. If you're in an area where hurricanes happen, you have a hurricane contingency plan. If you're or fire or flood, we had floods, we had all different contingencies, things that could happen. What will we do in the event of this? And we had those all written. Now, I don't recall ever doing one. Now, I've been out of corporate America for quite a while, but ever doing one, and I never did one for my food business, what if there's a pandemic? We did have terrorist attacks considered, so um, and adulteration of food and things, and food sources, water sources and things. We had plans for that, but pandemic wasn't on the list. And getting our business shut down because of a pandemic, and we weren't an essential business, was definitely never on the list. Um, of possible contingencies, you know, just didn't happen. So that was a good idiom for today. I think it was really appropriate. Uh, fun challenge idiom, get up and go. As part of the get up and go challenge, I am personally putting together the challenge summit for early 2021. I'm just doing a little bit every day on that, little bits and pieces. So today I will take the homework from the get up and go challenge and I will say, how does that apply? And what do I want? If anything is possible for this particular this summit the challenge summit in 2021 what do I want if anything's possible I'll answer that question with respect to the underlying project that I'm putting together as part of the get up and go challenge I like to have a, a goal a personal goal for the challenge and for myself as well as the little pieces that I'm doing with everybody else right along beside them as we go through the challenge so that's it that's all I've got today I will have more news tomorrow I'm sure because I have some other stuff that's going on but today that's it I can help you in any way any questions if you if you're just stuck on something and you don't really feel like you have anybody you can ask or call hit me up just ask in the direct messaging or something I might not know the answer but I'm really good at figuring out what is the next step what is the next thing that we need to do why because I've had a lot of practice having to do that and figure it out for myself so I might not have the answer, but I know I can help hook you up with the person, place, thing, resource, tool, whatever it is that you need to continue to move forward toward what it is that you want, no matter what that is. All right, have an awesome day. I'll be with you tomorrow to update on what I'm doing as I transition from the brick and mortar world to the online. Have a great day.